last time we spoke. Uh, a few weeks later, I ran 211.36, so my new personal best. So I ended up uh, being number five in the United States for the rankings for 2014, so it was a good year. I go into Boston in, um, in April and you know, I had high expectations and talking about maybe I could even break 211 on the course, even though Boston's could be hard. You know, normally there's uh, weather conditions that could prevent us from running fast if there's a headwind or, or something like that. But um, I went into Boston um, feeling good, did all my training, best training of my life actually. And uh, there was 20 mile an hour headwinds, uh, a good elite field. And uh, what surprised me is the elite field took off in 440 or faster. That's about 204 uh, marathon pace. So I was thinking, I don't understand why they're going out so fast. And so I said, I'm gonna you know, be calculated. I'm gonna hold back, I'm gonna save myself and I'm gonna catch these guys in the hills. The hills come around 15, 16 miles, the Newton Hills. Well, the problem was, was after three, four, five miles, I'm keeping my pace at five minutes a mile, which is about 211. Uh, but there's no, I, I couldn't see the front people. All of a sudden, it, it dawned on me that I'm running all alone in the headwind, trying to catch uh, 20 of the best runners in the world. You know, I'm not good enough to do that. I'm, I'm not gonna catch them. And I ended up just getting slower. Um, and it was, it, was, it was very hard to swallow that. And um, you know, I ran the whole last 16 miles just defeated. Um, just, it was just a tough run, um, and I'm just glad I finished. And I ran 222 um, something, 222.20, way off of what I wanted. And I was about 24th, 25th placed, um, and that, that was that was hard for me. Uh, so since then, you know, I use that as a motivation that um, that hey, I'm down for the cause, whether I'm, I'm doing good or not. Like I'm going to see this through still. Um, you know, if I. For success, you gotta be willing to roll with the hits. And, and um, if that was something to teach me a lesson on not being calculated or, you know, maybe that happens at the Olympic trials, you know, people take off real fast and um, I gotta go with them now. You know, I learned my lesson from Boston. So I just um, learned what I, uh, what I learned from Boston and uh, hopefully I, it won't happen again. But I'm um, going into Chicago. I mean, I'm not gonna be calculated this time. I'm not gonna let nobody get away from me. Make sure I run with people, um, make sure, um, you know, help draft pace, uh, work with people and um, just, just focus on that. Boston, I put a lot of pressure on it. I had a big build up. I did videos called The Road to Boston. You know, I, I kind of just put myself out there, you know, telling people my goals. And um, I think that probably took a little bit of energy out of me. I don't know if I was more worried about videos and, and, and trying to impress people. And that's just me being critical on myself. Um, you know, it was a big build up, a big media deal when I got to Boston. A lot of energy was getting taken. And, you know, I had a big New York Times article that came out on me. And, you know, I, that was a lot of energy. And, um, you know, I, I really, this time, I, I'm kind of just shutting my mouth. Not because I learned a lesson, it's just because I want to focus on my energy about the race. And um, just trying to embrace, embrace all this uh, like more, believe in myself. I think that's what it comes down to it is, is believing that I do deserve this and that, um, that this is where I belong. Uh, and I feel I do. I mean, I belong here and, and um, you know, this is my third world majors uh, marathon I'm going to be in. Uh, world majors is Tokyo, London, New York, Chicago, uh, Berlin. My training really hasn't necessarily been that much better than Boston. I think it's just uh, more um, smarter. I'm not focusing on trying to run too many miles. Uh, it's a flat course, Chicago's gonna be flat, and you know, I'm training down here in Fresno, and it's flat. Um, <clears throat> I'm just using uh, the motivation of, 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 the, um, of how I felt after Boston, after um, being devastated. I'm just using that. I mean, for um, one or two months, I mean, I swear I'd run after Boston, I'd think about Boston, and I'd have tears in my eyes, you know, just because so embarrassed, so, um, not just embarrassed, I, I just know how good I am and I just wanted to show it. I wanted to show people. Um, not just show people, but show myself that I could do it actually on a world stage while everybody's watching and, and not, be, not go somewhere else in the world and, and do something where no one's really watching. I want to be here and, uh, and I got another opportunity in two weeks and I'm, I'm grateful for that. And um, I'm not trying to be too fancy going into Chicago. All I'm trying to do is just do better than what I've ever done in my life. So just breaking 211.36 would be good enough. I mean, deep down in my heart, I love to talk about breaking 210, you know, running 209. Um, but right now I'm just trying to take every step on the ladder. Uh, I'm not gonna skip any steps and um, 
first things first is breaking uh, my PR. Then after that, hopefully maybe 211 and I could finally call myself a 210 marathoner. And um, that'll, that'll be good to stamp out 2015 leading into 2016 Olympic trials. Olympic trials, we're talking months away. We're inside six months. So this will be a good stepping stone for that. And I need a good performance leading into the Olympic trials. Um, I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't afford another Boston experience. So It's a pretty cool feeling. I mean, everybody, when they're little, they, everybody wants to make the Olympics. I think as a child, you know, whatever sport you're in, um, you want to make the Olympics. And the coolest part is actually a reality. You know, in 2012, a seventh place. And that, that was a cool feeling. Uh, but now, you know, we're going to be three, four years later. Um, I'm faster than ever. I'm more wiser stronger um, and, and I don't really feel as I have that much pressure to make the team uh, I know I'm good enough um, I don't know how many people will count me in as actually being top three but uh, I'll, I'll be there um, the only thing I can focus on is focus on me and focus on my training make it very very simple don't pay attention to anyone else's training what they're doing uh, just just look at what I've done in the past the, my strengths my weaknesses and uh, just focus on that which I have and I'm pretty confident that um, when I show up on the line in Los Angeles in February that um, I'm going to give it a good go. And, uh, it, it'll be nice. I mean, it's all coming together. I mean, it's in our backyards in, in Los Angeles and um, I, I need to do this. I mean, I need to see it through. I just need to uh, become an Olympian. <laughs> yeah.